Hi and welcome everyone. In this video I'll provide an overview of a product I've originally purchased called the Rode Video Mic Me Microphone. Before I uh, get to the uh, microphone itself, let me just give a bit of brief context to the discussion. I've been working in education for many years and certainly since 2005 I've been uh, an advocate of the use of video and audio uh, as, a, as, a, as a tool to enhance educational delivery. I was an avid adopter of podcasting in 2005 uh, and have been enthusiastically supporting uh, the use of um, rich media in, uh, in educational resources. The last 10 years have seen a revolution in the capacity of educators to be able to record, edit and distribute uh, video and audio material. The smartphone has really enhanced this capability and there is no better time to be able to use a smartphone for recording and um, editing and publishing uh, audio or video content. The crop of smartphones currently available are even 4K enabled. They have high bandwidth connection to the internet, so you can you can get content uh, up very quickly. And uh, this brings me to um, a microphone such as the one we're going to have a look at today. While, my, while uh, smartphones uh, such as this iPhone 6 are fantastic at recording video, one of their weaknesses is their capacity to record audio because they have very small little condenser microphones in the, in the uh, devices and this limits their capacity to record quality audio. The video is fine but the audio is uh, often a little poor. So this is where a product such as this is really essential. Uh, as I said, this is made by, by, by Rode and they are an Australian manufacturer of high quality audio equipment, particularly microphones. And they've made this microphone exclusively for uh, mobile devices and to enhance uh, the uh, recording capacity of mobile devices. And it's very well priced at around uh, $60 to $80. I think I got this on, on uh, eBay just for about $80. Now, uh, it uses what's called a TRRS a connector, and that's the one that is commonly found on smartphones. You, you'll recognize that. That is the little um, uh, connector that your uh, headphones and microphone uh, uh, utilize. So, uh, very compact and very small, and to mount it to your phone, uh, it's incredibly easy. You just simply uh, plug it in like so, just like you would any other connector. And then there's a little sleeve here that you just press up against the case uh, to get a nice snug fit. And there we are. You uh, basically have uh, your microphone uh, mounted on the smartphone. Really fantastic. Now this is a directional microphone, which means that its highest sensitivity is directly uh, pointing forward and then it attenuates to its least sensitive area which is 180 degrees. So if I were talking into this, uh, into this microphone where I'm situated now I'd be getting a, a, a less than ideal outcome. Now the nice thing about this microphone is of course it can be mounted either way. I can, I can pull this out and mount it 180 degrees the other way so I can have it pointing towards me. If I was the person talking and I was wanting to record uh, the video out of the back of the camera, of the phone. So, really, a really easy and versatile microphone to use. The other important thing is on the back of this microphone is an external headphone jack. And this is a really innovative uh, uh, aspect of this, um, of this microphone in that it enables you to be able to connect a set of headphones and live monitor the audio um, coming from the uh, from the microphone. That's really useful 
just to be able to get a sense whether you're whether you're getting a quality outcome. I um, have uh, this wonderful uh, GoPro uh, selfie stick, um, but I've mounted a uh, a little um, attachment on the top of this uh, so that I can I can actually connect my phone. So this enables me to have this really great tool to be able to to record video uh, and do it while I'm walking. Now of course I can reverse this camera and I can film in selfie mode and be able to uh, film myself and speak to the camera as well. The other really important thing about this microphone is that it comes uh, in the package with what's called a windsock and this is slides over the over the barrel of the microphone and if you're doing any recording outside uh, this is an essential to have this uh, have this uh, fitted and it just uh, as I said it just simply um, it just sits over the top of the microphone like like this and uh, and uh, and um, um, allows you to get high quality recordings. Now um, the camera on an iPhone of course is down here so it's well out of the way of this windsock but uh, I gather on Android phones this can be a little bit of an issue in that uh, uh, the, 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 the camera is over to the left but I, I gather it's a little bit of fiddling and you can get it sorted. So there we are, as I said you can use this to record video or audio with any application that normally would work with the uh, internal infrastructure of the smartphone. Rode does produce uh, a really nice app themselves uh, and that's worth having a look at. Um, so I, I've been out and done a little bit of testing with this so I'll, uh, I might cut across now to the microphone uh, in a real world example out uh, on a beach here in Sydney. So. Uh, the, I'll just cut to that now, and this is actually the audio from the uh, camera uh, using this microphone out in the field, and I haven't done any post on it, so it's the raw uh, audio uh, that you're hearing. Okay, I've uh, brought the uh, iPhone uh, out into the, into the world uh, with the uh, video mic me uh, attached, and I actually have the windsock on. And I'm actually down here at the beach, as you can see, uh, Palm Beach, in fact, uh, north of Sydney. And it's a beautiful day. There is a uh, gentle uh, breeze blowing, as you can probably see. Be careful, my hat doesn't end up in the ocean. But um, I just thought this would be a good real test for the mic. Uh, obviously, using the uh, GoPro selfie stick uh, about a metre in front of me. So this should give you a bit of an idea of uh, the sort of audio you get out into the real, real world. Just do a bit of a pano here so you can just do a bit of a rotate around so we can have a bit of a look at the environment that we're in here and this uh, beautiful beach here in Sydney. Certainly a gorgeous day here on this beautiful Sydney beach. So that's probably a good good 360. Alright, that should give us a bit of a, a bit of a real world test of the uh, of the mic. So as you could see, uh, that was a really good um, quality outcome, and despite quite significant wind on the day, we weren't getting any uh, significant buffeting or wind noise um, because we were using the uh, the dead cat. Uh, would I recommend this? Uh, Device? Absolutely. I think if you, uh, as an educator, are wanting to record video or audio with your smartphone, then I think this is an essential uh, tool uh, to use. So, um, the limitations? Well, I suppose you've got to put it on, so, you know, there's a little bit of effort there, but it's, uh, you know, less than a minute to get it on and off. So it, you know, it's quite portable, quite small, um, not, not something you, you could carry it with you all the time if, if you want to be able to uh, record spontaneously. As I said, the price is very reasonable uh, at around $80. The disadvantages? Well, I suppose 
if there are more, you know, if you're filming forward and you're capturing a number of people there and they're all doing the talking, that's fine. But because you're behind the microphone at that point, you're not really going to adequately capture your uh, audio particularly well. So I think in that sense, if you're wanting to capture a group of people plus yourself as an interviewer, I think you're probably going to come up with a, have to come up with a slightly different solution. Uh, but where either you're the only person uh, that's being filmed, or you could film a group of people in selfie mode, or you can film a group of people out the front of the camera. But uh, difficult to do both because of the uh, directional nature of the microphone. But that's just not so much a limitation, but just um, a feature of the, of the microphone. Anyway, there you have it. I hope you found that useful. Uh, feel free to put any comments uh, that you might have uh, at the bottom of the video. I will be doing another video on a, another uh, Rode product, and that's the, uh, the Lavelia microphone, or the Lavelia Plus uh, microphone for smartphones. So do, do keep an eye out for that, because uh, that's uh, another style of microphone that's very useful. Anyway, once again, thanks. And um, if you if you enjoyed this, please please like it. All the best. Cheers.